the vacant WBC Silver Super Middleweight Championship. Would you please welcome to the ring now, from France, Christopher Rabrasse. Well, this is the man who calls himself the Iceberg, and with good reason, the former European champion has a terrific temperament. He's very well organized, he keeps busy behind a high guard. He doesn't have an awful lot of power, but he's got a terrific motor, and he just keeps coming and coming and coming. He gave George Groves a real good tough workout over 12 rounds. The worry for me, though, Glenn, is since that fight, he's had just a six-rounder against a Hungarian journeyman, and I wonder if some of the edge has gone from his game. Well, I shouldn't think so. You know, he's, you know, he's known about this fight for, for long. He, he'll have been in camp and had a good camp, trained really hard for this because he knows, you know, he'll have seen Callum Smith and have seen the way he's coming up through the rankings and also his destructive power. Well, that gives you an edge. You know, that, that makes you a little bit wary. So you're going to do your best work in camp. You're going to be really, 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 really in good shape. And I think he will be. And he knows it's a pressure fight. This week he's been saying it's not a fight I can afford to lose. I become a gatekeeper if I lose here. And this is a man who still has a lot of ambition at 29 years of age. He has not come here to take a paycheck and get out of town. He has come here to reignite his career. I know, ladies and gentlemen, Coming to the ring from Liverpool, Callum Mundo Smith. Well, here he comes, the KO kid. It's actually a go-go Christian, if you can see why. 16 wins, 12 of them inside the distance, and six of them first round in a row. Remember, he came back in May. After six months out, he was up against Oleg Fedotov, who goes the distance with everybody. Not with Callum Smith. 96 seconds that lasted. He's also got something you can't coach or train, a poker face. You never know what he's thinking. He's very cool, he's very composed, and he's not had any problems at all in his pro career to date. No, so far he's ticking every box. He can box, he can fight, he can punch. You know, he's, he's, he's charismatic, he can talk, you've know, got physical advantages. So he does look the, the, the real deal, the finished article. The only problem he's ever had was when Tobias Webb took the first round of him. After that, he came back and blasted the Welshman out in two. If we look at the tail of the tape, that's the only time a question's ever been really asked of him. And the answer was emphatic. Why is a strong, strong favourite tonight against Rebrasse, but Rebrasse is very experienced, a former European champion, and Smith has been talking very respectfully about his opponent in the build-up this week. And that's one of the things I think we don't like about Callum Smith. There's no trash talking at all. He never no. says anything bad about anybody. No, he is a really nice guy, and you know, you want to see him do well. He's a, you know, he'll, he'll be good as a, as a world champion. Kids can look up to him. Well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Eddie Hearn, you're all very welcome here to the Echo Arena, Liverpool. And at this time, a very warm welcome to you, the viewers, joining us at home. Et bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs en France, bienvenue à Liverpool. You join us live and exclusive on Sky Sports. This is Fight Night Live. All our officials are at ringside have been appointed by the World Boxing Council and the British Boxing Board of Control. Here present in the ring for the WBC from Rhode Island, USA, Mr. Michael George, and representing the Boxing Board, Mr. Alistair Hayes. Our three scoring judges at ringside. From Nevada, USA, Mr. Tim Cheatham. From uh, Port de la France, Monsieur Robin Dobier. From Wellingsboro in England, Mr. John Keane. The timekeeper at the bell from Warrington, Mr. Andrew East. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge, recognized as one of the world's finest, 
from Paisley, Scotland, Mr. Victor Laughlin. And so, ladies and gentlemen, in attendance here at ringside, and for those watching live on Sky Sports, the officials are ready. The boxers are ready. Are you ready for the main event? Introducing in the red corner, wearing the colours of his country, red, white and blue, weighing in at 12 stone even, brings to the ring a 32 fight record, 23 wins, 14 inside the distance, only 9 defeats, he is the former WBO, NABO champion. I beg your pardon ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, winning red, white and blue. 11 stone 13 pounds 12 ounces he weighed in 29 contests 23 wins six inside the distance three defeats and three draws the former french and european super middleweight champion from le voile Perry, france christopher lisberg reprasse And in the blue corner, winning solid blue with white trim, weighing in at 11 stone 13 pounds, bringing to the ring a perfect record, 16 wins, 16 contests, 12 wins inside the distance, former undefeated English and WBC international super middleweight champion from Liverpool, Kelly. Okay, gents, you've had your instructions in the dressing room. Remember, obey my commands at all time. Defend yourselves at all time. God bless. Touch gloves. Well, the history of Christopher Rebrasse suggests we will need those three scoring judges at ringside. The history of this man, Callum Smith, suggests we won't. Something is going to have to give tonight. Rebrasse never stopped. Smith, a wicked body puncher in particular, gets rid of Seven. opponents. Seconds out. What happens here? The biggest test of Callum Smith's fast rising career so far against the durable, capable, highly respected Christopher Rabrasse, the former European champion. Smith looking to get to work early with the left hand. And that is one thing we can say for certain about this fight, Callum Smith is not going to have to go looking for Rebrasse. He'll be there in front of him all night. Straight away, we see in center of the ring, up nice and tall, and show, throwing a, an excellent left jab. Busy with it as well. Doesn't give Rebrasse uh, a chance to see what's coming. But there will be something coming next. There's that right hand he's looking to try and put in there, Rebrasse. Body shot, then the switch back upstairs. That was classy. Rebrasse just missing with his right hand. And that's the thing that you think is going to hold Rebrasse back. The fact that he doesn't carry much of a dig. If he did, he really would be a handful at world level. He certainly gave George Groves all he could deal with. George got a lot of criticism in that fight. I couldn't understand why. Rebrasse made him work and he handled the 12 rounds very effectively, George, and won pretty comfortably. Well, he's coming to do the same thing here. He's trying to get on the front foot, he's trying to get his own jab working in his right hand. He's trying to be busy with his with his fist, which is what we saw against George Groves. Again, nice switch to the body there, but both men jabbing very, very well. There's Callum doubling up with that left hand again. He's looking fast and sharp tonight here, Callum Smith. Yeah, I think he knows this is a, a step up. It's a tough fight. He's got to be... At his very, very best. His jab is looking terrific early on. Rebrasse is not blocking too many or getting out of the way of too many. And if there was one battle you thought the Frenchman might win here, it would be the battle of the jabs. Yeah, and it's good the way he uses the, j the jab. Some, you know, he varies the power. Some, he, he, he faints a little bit and then throws a, a softer jab. Then suddenly 
you know, he really digs it in and, and a very stiff jab. Nice body shot pick there as well. Rebrasso looks to try and mount the response. Good defense would work again from Callum Smith, then sinks in the body shot once more. Rebrasso taking all these punches early, seemingly without any effect. But will he be taking that kind of punch the longer this fight goes on again? A response from Rebrasso. Yeah, already you can tell Rebrasso has, has worked, has come in, in shape, has come in. He wants, he wants a win here. Mixed a sneaky uppercut in there as well. Callum Smith. A short chopping shot. Showed variety, showed some composure. Picked a lot of good shots there, Callum Smith. from Callum Smith he doesn't show any emotion it's a little trait that could carry him a long way when as we expect he moves up to the very highest level the only question always seems to have been with Callum Smith when is that going to happen victory over this man would take another step closer This is the title, of course, that Badu Jack holds, the WBC belt. George Groves hoping to take that from him a little bit later on this summer. He's just changed, sorry, Nick, he's just changed tactics a little bit. He's, he's just targeting the body a little more, trying to bring those hands down. Realizes it's difficult to get through that high guard of Rebras. He's got a decent defense, so he's trying something different just to open him up. Oh, really sharp punches again. Lovely uppercut, hook to the body. Again, Rebrassi soaking it all up. If Smith didn't realize he was gonna be in for potentially a long night, here he does now, because he's landed some clean punches that earlier in his career would have been putting people on the floor, not Rebrassi. With that jab, as well as picking up valuable points, is also softening Rebrassi up a little bit. Taking his eye off the punches that follow. Good response, though, again from Rebrasso. Nice variety with the jab. You mentioned that earlier, Glenn. He's mixing it up from head to body, varying the power, as you said. Again, picking some really nice, clean shots here. Yeah, this is well-schooled boxing from Smith. Getting his hands up as well, lovely uppercut right through the middle of the guard. Disguised it as well. Made it look as if it's going to be a body shot and then just twisted it into an uppercut. But for all the good work he's doing, Rebrasse still blocking well, still defending well, and still looking to land a response. With a bit of marking under his right eye. I don't know if that's a splash of blood from his opponent or whether he's got to sustain a bit of damage. We'll find out when he gets cleaned up. There's a little knot mark on the, the bridge of the nose as well. So, you know, Rebras is getting through with shots. He's not having it all his own way. This is very competitive. He's bleeding from the nose as well now, Rebras. I mean, for me at this stage, right sort of opponent. Thank you. 
Smith in the blue against former European champion Christopher Rebrasse. More little adjustments made in the corner by Joe Gallagher, who was worried last week about Callum Smith when he and the rest of the, uh, the crew were over in Northern California for Paul Smith's brave but ultimately doomed effort against Andre Ward. Callum left on his own. But temperamentally, as you say, so sound seem to affect him, bother him. All the hard work had been done anyway. I don't think Joe's fears had any real foundation. Rebrasso <laughs> continuing to look to land those right hands, getting an uppercut through there. And not often you see Smith forced to box on the back foot, doubling up with the right hooks there, Rebrasso. Decent body shots coming back from Smith, but look at that. Rebrasso takes three of them and comes back with punches of his own. So Smith puts another one in, and Rebrasse responds. Good fight. Yeah, very good fight. And you're right, you know, often you see Smith covering up, taking a few shots. He's got a very good defense, though, nice, tight arm defense, tucks up. But what I like is he's also confident enough to just stay, stay there. He's, he's not panicking, he's not looking to, to dash away. Like an experienced fighter, he just stays there. He tucks up, and then he looks to, to fight back. Rebrasse still willing, still coming forward, still working. It's going to take an awful lot to discourage this fella. And Smith hasn't even made a dent in him yet. No, Rebrasse certainly started well. He's busy in this round, throwing a lot of punches. Solid right hand landed there from Smith that just momentarily rocked Rebrasse back. And again, only momentarily. Not often you see Smith, you know, having to take, even if it's on the gloves, there's that many punches coming at him. That's what Rabasse does good. He stays busy, good engine. That's what gives George Groves trouble. Yeah, there were a lot of people thought that George, for all his qualities, couldn't handle a tough 12 rounder. Well, that's exactly what he got against Christopher Rabasse and handled it very well. But it was never easy for him is the point you're making, Glenn, and it's not looking easy here for Callum Smith, even then he landed a body shot and took a right-hand counter. Yeah, no, he's having to work in this round. Rebrasse, he's thrown more punches and probably had a little bit more success. The family in attendance, Stephen waiting for his shot, Liam also banging on the door as well, and there's... Oh, the Paul Senior just leaning forward, all anxious as the tweets come in. A really good test, this, for Callum Smith. Everyone knows it. Wayne Rooney is watching in Barbados. He's been tweeting in as well. A big Callum Smith fan. And anybody who knows their boxing would know that this was never going to be a nice, easy stroll for Callum Smith. Yeah, just, just that worked a little bit in the last round. Rebrasse doing what he does, and that's throwing lots and lots of punches. And good defense as well from Rebrasse. There was a moment in that last round, Glenn. Callum landed a really sharp-looking left to the body, and it was the sort of shot that we've seen opponents double up with. And the response was immediate, a right hook from Rebrasse. He's not going to be hurt or intimidated very easily. No, no, he takes, he takes his bumps, takes his shots well, comes straight back. But, uh, you know, we knew that. You know, this is the, the right sort of fight at this stage. This is a, a step up for Callum Smith. Nice uppercut for Abrasse. And they're scoring punches as well. He's not just sort of throwing, hopefully, that, that they're, they're educated, well-timed shots 
that Rabrasse is throwing and landing. What they don't have is that extra bit of dig. The leg comes through, he has good defense and then gets through. He tries to get a couple of clubbing right hands through. Smith getting those long levers to work, sinking in the body shots, but Rebrasse not budging. Rebrasse seems to be taking Smith's punches better than he did in the first couple of rounds. He's not moving at all when he gets tagged at the moment. No, I think what we're seeing, Rebrasse is mentally tough. Good double left hook there from Smith. He's took it again. Second one just seemed to have a little bit of an effect on Rebrasse. Watch the feet of Rebrasse, though, Glenn. He hardly ever even takes a little half step back. He is very tough. Yeah, he's got a good base as well. He grips that canvas. You know, that's why he's so solid. And he's busy in there. That's the problem. Smith has never really had this. Has he? Somebody coming at him, throwing lots of punches. Good body shots. A couple of good right hands, then a left hook to the body. Now, did that combination of punches make a little dent in Rebrasse. He saw that straight left of the body coming and adjusted the Frenchman. And now he's regrouped again, here he comes. Smith with the high guard. Yeah, he's thrown a lot. They're not all getting through, obviously. But, you know, occasionally they do. That was better from Smith. He's got through the guard. Was the one that just seemed to make a, a little dent in Rebrasse, that second left hook. And then there were the three body shots as well. That you just started to wonder if, if Rebrasse was feeling it. Good fight, this. It's a sterner test for Smith, who unloads again and gets an immediate response from Rebrasse then his best win today then he beats uh, the fringe world world candidate Nicholas Sheklotska he beat Sheklotska pretty handily without ever lightening the blue touch paper in that one didn't need to showed he could go 12 rounds against a good solid opponent this is a harder test for him yeah well I just wonder you know what's going through the mind when right hands come back at him like that when he throws a barrage of punches and Rebrasse straight in his face again coming back never really work. had this before has he no look at this he's got Smith on the ropes landing body shots and outworking Smith now as well and needed that response the Liverpool youngster again Rebrasse looking to unload but keeping his defenses sound, very compact and well organized, Rebrasse. Caught them on the gloves there, Rebrasse. The left hook got through though. And again, this is another round where Rebrasse is just out working Smith. It will be interesting to see how Smith responds if Rebrasse continues to push him back the longer this fight goes on because he will not have experienced this
Well, he's really having to, to work, Nick, isn't he? He's, you know, he's having to think of everything. He's trying different things. Some working, some aren't. That's it. Right through the body now. There you go. Well, he's landed such good, yeah, clean shots. Down again. And nothing, nothing has made a dent in Rebrasa yet. Another left to the body. It was a momentary flinch there from Rebrasa, but then he came back again. Smith continuing to dig the body shots in. As he sensed that he might have started to make a breakthrough, perhaps. Yeah, you know what? He seems cheek tough at the moment, doesn't he, Rebrasa? Really trying hard for Smith, trying to look for a gap, winding them up. Rebrasa stays in front of him and then fires back. Yeah, really good fight, this. Well, it is if you're a neutral. Well, it's really well matched, Let's go it, over Paul? to somebody who's not neutral. Paul Smith, he's with Ed. Well, it's really well matched, Paul, and it seems that Callum's being made to think and work for every second of every round. Yeah, I, I think he knew he, he's going to have to think every round. He, Rebrass is going to is going to be there. He's going to keep coming forward, and it's about prize and I'm open. I think Callum's comfortably in control, but he has to find them shots. What normally bowl kids over. Rebrass is tough and he's shortable and he's capable also of, of blocking inside and of staying tight inside and obviously he's, he's aware of Callum's body shot so Callum needs to prize him open touch a few light ones upstairs back down again down up down you know and Callum's quality at that he's, he's probably the best in the, in the gym at doing that so time, time will tell a few more rounds and Rabassa will hopefully start getting tired thank you Paul round six you heard big brother Paul there, hoping that Reprasse starts to get tired the longer this goes on. He didn't show any tiredness against George Groves through 12 rounds. Let's see if the weight of these Callum Smith punches does slow him down in the later stages. Good work with the right hooks there, nice short chopping right hooks doubled up from Smith. Yeah, he takes them well, though, Rebrasse, doesn't he? Surely, you know, this is starting to just wear him down a little bit. Still looks, you know, plenty in the legs from Rebrasse. Looks solid. They're very compact and defensively sound. Interesting to gauge the crowd's reaction. They know this is a real good technical fight against an opponent that is not going to get bombed out. But keeps coming back for more and he's very fresh and very hungry. And he's going to make Callum Smith work for every second of this. Yeah, the crowd absorbed. The Liverpool crowd, a very knowledgeable boxing crowd. They'll be enjoying it. Seeing it being so competitive. Well, it really is a genuine test. You know, we talked it up. We thought, having seen what he did last year, that he was going to be a good test. I think a lot of people actually thought, you know what, Smith's such a wicked puncher, particularly to the body, that he would wear him down and break him up. There is no evidence of it happening yet. And he's hit him with solid shots, upstairs and downstairs, combinations. Rebrasse has barely flinched, and we're nearly at the halfway point. Not as busy in this round, though, Rebrasse. He had a good last round, but he's took a little bit out of himself, and they're missing with all of those in that combination. Good jab then from Smith. <laughs> Lunging in a little bit there, Rebrasse. They're trying to work the angles to get the opening as Smith covered up behind that tight guard. And in a really good left there, Smith, but it did nothing to Rebrasse. He's straight back on him. Well, this is going to be a real test of resolve and commitment from Callum Smith. It's good. It's what he needs to progress to world level. You know, you've got to be in competitive, tough fights and then show your metal. That's what he's getting right here.
walk and walk and try and hit legs all the time. Bang, chaps, walk towards him, just step forward and close the distance and stop him throwing sometimes, yeah? All right, and hold your composure, okay? Yeah, Rabrasse just unloading there, trying to be the bully. Oh, yeah. Ten seconds. Good shots there. This a totally new experience for Callum Smith. An evening when cool heads are needed. Smith has that, so too does his trainer Joe Gallagher. Both of them know though, this is a victory that is gonna have to be worked for from first bell to last, and that's how you're seeing it. Yeah, I'm seeing it relatively close. He's just keeping his nose ahead. Callum Smith, two points for me, cleaner cleaner punches but the work rate from Rabrasse is good at times well it's certainly not a one-sided blowout however you're scoring it Rabrasse is in every single round and as you say Glenn genuine ar argument that he's outworked Smith over at least a couple of those first six I wouldn't think for one second Callum Smith has been cutting corners in training. He's not that tight, but if he had gone into this lightly, it would have been a huge mistake. No, you, you, if you look on paper, Nick, this is always going to be a competitive, tough fight. This was never going to be an, an easy job. You know, at this level, you, you're, you're taking risks, and, and this, this is, is a, a genuine risk. Such a good point you made in that last round as well, Glenn. That it's so good that he's got an opponent where he's unloading the good stuff and it's having no effect because when he moves into world level, you know, Andre Durrell isn't going down from a shot. If he does, he gets back up. Good work again from Smith, but Rabrasse is staying right on his case. And at Sakyo Biki, you can take a baseball bat to him, it doesn't slow him down. Look at this Smith work in the body, really good body shots, no effect. I'd like to see a little bit more head movement from Smith. He's a little bit straight up, and that's coming across when you've got somebody like Rabrasse throwing punches and being busy. Got to get off those ropes, Smith. He's just standing there a little bit too long, and you know it just looks as if Rabrasse is having a bit more success than he is. Yeah, it's giving the impression that Rabrasse is outworking him. Another good right hand there from Smith, but Rabrasse straight back onto him. And then Smith manages to turn the tables. Rabrasse with a quick recovery. Real good, intriguing, fascinating battle, this, that you cannot take your eyes off. And Rabrasse is just dominating the center of this ring, and Smith for the first time in his career, is being forced to box on the back foot. And you, you know, you see again there, Rabrasse just stepped to the side, showing angles, done a good round for Rabrasse. Well, let's hear from someone else watching at ringside, Anthony Gogo with Ed. Well, Anthony, this is the perfect learning fight for Callum, assuming he wins. This is great. This is, uh, this is like, like you said, the, the perfect fight for him. Um, it's turned out to be a great little scrap. I think Callum, Callum's edging ahead for me. I think he's got the, the cleaner, crisper work. Is when Callum throws punches, he's, he's got a bit of quality about it. Rass throws punches, looks a bit stiff and a bit rigid. But anyway, it's, it's a great fight, great promoting for him, great matchmaking. Can those body, sh body shots start to pay dividends? Yeah, I think as the fight will go on, I think Rass will start to slow because he is as game as the present with Rass, but I think the fight will, will, will begin to slow down and Callum will pick his shots better. And I still think he could force a late stoppage, but I think he'll come through in the end. And, um, but no, like you said, it's, it's a great fight for him at the worst stage of his career. Anthony. Yeah, thanks, Anthony. Yeah. Rabrasse, quite rightly, earning the attention and respect, not only of everybody in this arena, but people watching as well. He is right in this, and he's making this a very hard night for Callum Smith. And I wonder if the people who were critical of George Groves back in September after his performance against Rabrasse will be equally critical of Callum Smith, because it's a similar kind of fight. You get the feeling 
that the British fighter is just about in control, but it, it, he's being made to work every step of the way. And got caught with a counter there. Yeah, good jab from, from Smith there. Yeah, but the impression is often that Rebrasse's throwing a lot of punches. He's going back to the ropes. We need to see a bit of the fight when, when Smith is, is more dominant. You know, just to show his good work. Again, he landed a good body shot, Smith, and a long right hand from Rebrasse followed. And I wonder if the back of Callum's mind is the the thinking that I've landed my good stuff, I've landed my best shots, the shots that get rid of people, and they've done nothing to this fella. There's nothing really landing there, good from Smith, Rebrasse hitting the arms and gloves, but you know, still the impression is he's putting pressure on Smith. Well, Smith, as you said, he's shown he can work defensively as well, and he's not just a blast him out bully boy. No, well, you know, this is another tick in the box temperament character and you know so far he you know he's coming through he's coming through fine just needs to be busier a little more dominant on the on the get the center of the ring and just try and push Rebrasse back again on the ropes on the back foot again Rebrasse comes back with the counters Again, Rebrasse looking busy. Every time Smith attacks, Rebrasse comes back at him. Yeah, he's managing in this one, Smith, to, to block most of the punches that's coming through and then come back with clean ones like that himself, that land. Better in this round for, for Smith. That was nice. Really nice, long right hand. Rebrasse straight on his chest. Good and body punch downstairs again, yeah. Now is he starting to make a breakthrough here? Momentarily, Rebrasse just paused, and Smith sensed it, and he's going for him. Rebrasse grins, but Smith keeps the pressure on. Rebrasse comes straight back at him. Well, great character from Rebrasse, but just starting to come apart a little bit there. Excellent work from Callum Smith. I'm not sure if he was coming apart or not, as he wobbled back to his corner. Maybe you're right, Glenn. But whether he was wobbling or whether he wasn't, the bottom line is, as you said, that was a good round for Callum Smith that he really needed to just assert some authority there, and he did it. Yeah, for me, finally, that was a breakthrough round. You know, he, he picked up the pace, he got his good shots on, he blocked the punches from Rabasse, came back, and then just seemed to make the breakthrough. There, excellent right hand, that took something out of him. And then switching it, body, head, Again, the, the body punches, just starting the defences now. For the first time, Rebrasse is, is open and getting hit with punches. Oh, Mikel Kessler, the recently retired Mikel Kessler. What a warrior. Yeah, that's the understatement of the night. It really is a good one, Mikel. I hope you're enjoying retirement. Thanks for the memories. They're all good. Let's get back to this one. Round nine. Let's take another look at Glenn's card. Yep, still keeping that that lead. And for me, the breakthrough round week, the best round of the fight, more dominant round. The first time a real dominant round, that was from Smith. Now, can he build on that? As we get to round nine here, with Rebrasse still in it. Clever and sharp again from Callum Smith, again just varying the point of attack as he can do so effectively. Which is noticeable that the, the defense of Rebrasse just not as, not as good, not as tight. Smith, who seems to have found another gear. If the last round was good, this one's equally impressive so far. Now, can he keep the foot down? Rebrasse missing badly with the right, but came back with the left. And that's the thing with Rebrasse, there always seems to be something else coming at you. Well, 
Well, it's good for Smith that in, you know, midway through a fight, a tough fight with somebody throwing lots of punches at you, you can switch up the, the gears as he did in the last round. Oh, it's just good full stop, this for, for Callum Smith, isn't it? Assuming he does come through unscathed. It shows he can box on the back foot. It shows he can move around the ropes. It shows he can keep his discipline and his patience when the good stuff doesn't get somebody out of there. And at no point has he has he really had a problem, has he? You know, I mean, even if he's been under pressure, he's he's tucked up, got the gloves there, came back straight away with Pontius, and you know, continues to show his class. Doing good work. Punches no, just, just dropped a little bit from Rabrasse here. Yeah, sorry, no, I was just about to say the same thing. Punches on coming back from Rabrasse like they have over the last part of the fight. Keep your shape. That's it. Now Rabrasse tries to regroup, but he's, he's pursuing Smith here and not getting anywhere near him. Smith staying nicely and cleverly out of range. And that pace has definitely dropped from Rebrasse. Yeah, and that's good. It's just giving Smith a little bit of a breather as well. There's another good round for the Liverpool man. Let's go back to Big Brother with Ed. Well, a strong eighth from Callum, and he seems to be using his feet a little bit more in that round as well to get some distance between him and Rebrasse. Yeah, again, you know, for me, he's, he's in control. He's firmly in control of the fight. It's just a matter of time of, of not a matter of time it's just a case of, of trying to break Nebrasse down who's so tough and very good defense he, he, he's on it you know he's a quality opponent with a quality defense he doesn't really get really get broken down so that's the job and that's the task for Callum to try and break him down but you know does there come a point where you think this is going the distance possibly but he'll, he'll still not give up trying that's Callum that's that's how he fights and that's how he always fights he's unhappy when he goes the distance but you know, it'll do no harm whatsoever, but I still think there's a few, no, there's a few rounds left, there's still there's a few moments in this fight, yeah. Thanks, Paul. Yes, thanks, Paul. In the spaces, don't be wasting shots. Absolutely spot Second on this down. assessment. Round 10. Now, three rounds to go. Remember, Rabrasse came into this full of ambition as well, was talking about this is a fight he cannot afford to lose. He locked himself away at altitude, taking this fight very seriously indeed. He must know that he's behind on the cards. Can he find another level now and step it up? And if he does, will Callum be able to go with him and will Smith be able to exploit a weakness? Will he make a mistake, Robrasse? Well, Robrasse's come out uh, to, to make a bit of a statement, but when he does that, he's going to throw punches. That's when he's going to leave himself open. That's exactly what happens. Smith getting through, good shots. Overall, he's been very solid defensively, Smith. He's needed to be good, long right hand, Rebrasse grimaces. Or was it a grin? I think it was recognition of being hit with yeah. a good right hand. But he's never done that, he's never shown anything whenever Smith's getting through until now, and that just tells me it's getting hard for Rebrasse in there. Not much behind those punches from Rebrasse, another wicked looking body shot. And another one digs in as well, Rebrasse tucking up and trying to just ride the storm here. As Smith picks some real hurtful body punches and gets it! The fourth one, the left up to the body, broke Rebrasse. The gum shield's out, he's up at seven. He's putting the gum shield back in himself, but he is in pain. And yeah. Cam Smith, who comes in, grinning. Can he finish him off here? Another body shot, Rebrasse trying to soak it up. Still a minute left in the round, the uppercut comes in. The crowd going crazy. Rebrasse looking to find a response. Doubling up the hooks to the body. Then the right from, Re from Smith. Well, it's game and determined from Rebrasse. Shows great courage in there. He's been badly hurt and the punches are just raining in on him. Still he tries to fight back. 
Well, if he gets through this round and he's only got another 30 seconds, another body shot comes in. It was the accumulation that got him the first time, and Smith's been hitting him with plenty, then mixes an uppercut in there, and still Rebrasse comes at him. You have to admire Rebrasse's work in this round as well, a come up, come back from that. And he's back on the front foot. Again, a body shot comes in, mixing up the uppercuts. Clear daylight between the two now, but Rebrasse's going to get through the round. What a tough, tough man Christopher Rebrasse is. That is 95% of world super middleweights finished, done, and dusted for the night. He got up, got the job done, saw the round out. Yeah, so this is, I mean, excellent work from, from Smith. Really found the spot there. You can tell, you know, we could see that the defenses were just starting to fail Rebrasse, and Smith really took notice of that, picked up the pace, brilliant round, great coverage from Rebrasse in the crowd, loving that. And I think this is, you know, it's really doing Callum Smith the, the world of good because this is, you know, he's, he's having to think, he's having to work, he's having to show character, and, you know, he's answering everything. Well, that's the point, isn't it? <laughs> Callum Smith happy with his work. And I think also a lot of respect for his opponent in there as well. He's had a lot of questions thrown at him tonight, Callum Smith, so far. He's found all the answers. Two rounds to go. This has been a much more absorbing and compelling fight than the Sheklochka fight last year. That was too easy for Smith. He's had to work for this one. Yeah, he, he'll have learned. You know, he's had eight first round knock, knockouts where he wouldn't have learned a lot. But a fight like this, you learn so much because he's having. You know, he's having to do everything. He's having to take some shots. He's having to, to, to come back. He's having to think about his attacks. You know, for the first time, he's having to pace himself as well. You said earlier, Glenn, there were a couple of rounds in the middle there that... I don't want to so far as to say he looked uncomfortable, but he was certainly been forced back and not boxing his natural game. Yeah, well, we're just so used to see him with his back to the ropes, aren't Never we? Never seen it. No. Never seen and, it. And, and, you know, having to cover up a little bit. You know, what he did show me during those moments was that he can still cover up well, he can still, you know, relax on the ropes. And at times, with, with tough quality opponents, you're going to have to do that. Good body work again, and Rebrasse earlier had just glanced over it in his corner. But again... There's the response. Smith's hit with everything. Still he keeps coming. And that's a decent shot of his own. He's got so much to his game, Christopher Abrasse. The one thing he's always lacked is that big punch. If he had that, you're looking at a world-class operator. He's got everything else. Inside the last minute of this 11th round, Smith showing no rush to try and get this done. But Smith's done extremely well. I mean, he really has boxed well, defended well, put his shots together well. But you know, you've got to give Christopher Ravras an awful lot of credit for the performance he's put up. You know, he's really done himself in shape and worked really hard. You're not kidding. You know, you know, he was saying, if I lose this, I'm more or less washed up. You've got to be kidding. Nothing washed up about this man. And for all the terrific super middleweights we've got in this country, there won't be too many banging on the door asking for this fellow as an opponent. Well, you know, you world-class George Groves, you saw how much trouble to get George. One round left.
round coming up, yeah? Suck it up, all right? He's got to come now, he's desperate. Yeah, listen, he's desperate, all right? Yeah, listen, the knockdown sealed it. He's got to come, he's desperate now, all right? When he comes, he's got to walk on the shots, yeah? He can't the pain, all right, okay? Be quick to return, all right? Catch a return and you'll catch a ball. Joe Gallagher just summed it up perfectly, didn't he? The knockdown sealed it. And if he does want to win it, he is going to have to get desperate. Yeah, but I would imagine the same way he's fought all the way through this fight. Very game and very tough fister of us. He's going to show the same. He's going to have a go. He's going to give it his best shot now, finishing line in sight. Good, good fight, this. I'm sure everybody feels the same. As good as Callum Smith has looked. Nothing but respect for Christopher Abrasse. I mentioned about the super middleweights that are out there. Martin Murray's just joined the party. What about Ribrasse Martin Murray? What a good test that would be for Martin. One that you know the St. Helens man would have to take very seriously indeed. Callum Smith has had to take him very seriously. He's come through a couple of rocky patches. He's put him on the floor. Everybody got excited for a moment that Ribrasse was going to be stopped for the first time in his career. But here we are in the last round and Ribrasse is going for it. Get a wild little flurry from Rebrasse, easily covered up there, and then great answer back from Smith. Again, just picking some lovely shots here. And he's been picking them from the first, the first bell, hasn't he? I remember going back to that first round, I thought Callum looks really good tonight. Sharp, fast, and accurate. That's been the story for him, and yet still he's got an opponent in his face being a nuisance. Yeah, it's been a really engrossing fight. I feel uh, really enjoyed this one. But Brasse, you know, he's come, he's come to win this fight. Very competitive. But Smith just showed all the class in the world. Great boxing, covered up well, good defense, excellent. Well, I'll go back to what I said earlier, Glenn, earlier in the night. You know, that they're talking about Callum Smith fighting for a British title. For me, he's, he's way, way past that. This is a guy that should be looking at a world title sooner rather than later. And this has proved it tonight. If, it, if he comes through the last 70 or so seconds here. Slight little mark, I think, for Smith, just on the, the cheekbone. It just shows how much Rebrass has worked. Oh, he's had to earn this. Interesting to hear from him afterwards whether he was under any real pressure at any point in the fight or whether he's able to just cope with it. He's never looked unduly worried. He's always looked as if he's known exactly what he's doing. You're absolutely right, but he's never been able to relax either. Rebrasse giving it all inside the last 30 or so seconds. Smith just waves him in. Smith's enjoyed tonight. He really has. He's proved himself worthy at this level. He's dominated a very, very capable opponent. And it's been a fight we've enjoyed from the first bell to the last. Well, Rebrass, they've thrown a lot in the, in the final round, but hasn't landed with a great deal. He's been a bit scrappy. But like all the way through this fight, he has given value for money. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, Glenn, you can't knock him. You cannot knock Christopher Rebrass and what he's brought to this fight. Terrific scrap. Really, really good stuff. The reaction of the crowd says it all. Everybody on their feet. Applause is for both men. Well, I pose the question, would we need the three scoring judges? Here's the unofficial judge. Yeah, I shouldn't think so. Um, you know, the knockdowns, good, finished the fight really well, and seven points ahead on my court. Very clear win, very good learning fight. The journey for me continues. How would you compare this with the performance George Groves put up against Rebrasse? Because that's, uh, that's the measuring stick we'll be yeah, looking at here. Yeah, it's the measuring stick. I think Carl Smith was a better performance. George Groves was a little bit ragged, got hit for, uh, far too much, but you, you, you could blame him for for being tired, he'd been in, in training a long time that year, and it wasn't long after the Froch fight, but certainly this was very polished from Callum Smith. Let's hear the final thoughts from uh, Big Brother Paul as well. Paul. 
But Paul, first of all, how did you score that in the end? I had it wider than the, the scorecard there, but I'm bound to have a bit of blood of scoring, and I, you know, I, I felt Callum was very comfortable in there. You know, there was little patches here and there where Rabassi was was coming forward, but Callum was always in control with his defence. You know, it was not really that was overawing Callum. Sometimes you want someone to open up a little bit so you can catch them, so you can actually, you know, prize them open a little bit while they're attacking and land one or two shots as they're coming in. But Callum was, was way in control for me. You know, it was, I think it's a very, very wide decision. Great experience going 12 rounds, but not just 12 rounds, 12 rounds where he's been made to think all the time and under mental pressure, which is exhausting. And being made to work bell to bell, you know, the Brassi is a fighter who, who's relentless, who comes forward and pressurizes opponents. We saw that with, with the fight with George Groves. He doesn't give in till the final bell. He's got a scuss some engine on him, so Callum's worked well. well. Let's get the decision now. Ladies and gentlemen, as always this evening, before we declare the result, please, your appreciation, both boxers in the ring. We go to our judges' scorecards, where judges Robin Dompierre and John Keane both scored this contest, 1-1-8, one, 1-1-0. One, 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 Judge Tim Cheatham sees the contest, 1-20, one, 1-0-7. One, All in favour of the winner, the new WBC Silver Super Middleweight Champion from Liverpool, Callum Mundo Smith. Can't don't really tell the tale. That was a and hard night nice for sure. Callum Smith, but he showed oh, an WBC. awful lot of class. He showed potential world class tonight against a really capable, brave, and committed opponent. Well, Callum, congratulations. A wonderful learning fight. How tough was that, and how tough was Rabasso? Um, Rabasso is very tough. I give him a lot of credit. You know, he kept coming, but I knew that going in there. I think that's why you know I chose to box and show me skills. I think I'd have looked stupid if I went in trying to blow him out today, you know, I respect his durability, he's proved it at the highest level, so you know, I thought to box well, I thought to show that I can box, and you know, if I do go past one round, I can still stick to a game plan and do it, but you know, I felt comfortable, I'd done the 12, comfortable enough, and you know, I felt like I could have given more, but what I was doing was working, so I stuck to the back foot. A real breakthrough in that 10th round with the body shot, you couldn't repeat that, but are you glad to get 12 hard rounds under your belt? Yeah, very, I've been saying this you know, all my career, I enjoyed the early knockouts, but you know, I'm going to progress and go on and become a world champion, I need fights like this, and you know, the Sedge Locker one and this one were perfect for you know, my me, me career, really. You know, I feel I'm improving all the time, and you know, the only thing I, I need is an experience, and you know, I'm gaining that. Well, let's get the assessment of your trainer, Joe Gallagher. How impressed were you with that? Very impressed. Callum came back after round five. He went, my left hand's gone. It doesn't look like it. It went in round ten when he dropped him with a body shot, didn't it? But oh, some amazing guts for a young kid. What a rapid rise. He only turned professional two and a half years ago, and here he is headlining the Echo Arena. Just won the WBC silver belt. And uh, what a credit. And uh, I'm really pleased Liverpool came out tonight to support Callum Smith because we've got a future world champion here. Callum, how is the left hand? A um, bit sore. Hopefully it's just a bit of bruising. But you say, no, yeah, it went in the fifth. But no, I still had to throw it. I think no, I can't sit, sit around the moment. I've got to, if I wouldn't have kept throwing it, no need to come back into the fight. But no, that's boxing. You get injuries. You've got to learn to deal with them. So wait, where do you take him forward from here, Eddie? Is the plan to wait and see what happens with the WBC belt with Badu Jack and George Groves? Yeah, I mean, you know, as Joe said, I was sitting with Kel Brook two and a half years ago. Callum debuted on Kel Brook's card. Now he's headline at the Echo Arena. It's, it's great to watch a great young fighter come through the amateur ranks from, you know, from the English team and through headline in his hometown. It's all about developing the fighters in the right way. And I feel like his development has been first class. The Sedge Locker fight and again, Rebrass. People thought Callum Smith was automatically going to win tonight. We knew how tough that fight was. You know, there's been a lot of hype surrounding Callum Smith, but that was the perfect fight. Luckily, the hype is real, and he's going to be number one in the WBC now. Now, you know, that's going to put him probably one fight away from changing for the world title. George Groves fights Badu Jack, August, September. You know, we feel probably we're one fight away from that. The Rocky Fielding fight is definitely a fight that's a great fight for Liverpool. But, you know, Callum's got his eyes on world titles, and, and, and again, that was a perfect performance still learning and they're the kind of fights that are going to de de develop him as a fighter probably learn more tonight than he did for his whole career and you know that's going to stand him in state stead when he changes for the world title it's within 12 months you know that's the time frame callum smith will be ready and i believe he can win a world title at super middleweight look forward to that well done